Hello, everyone. This is Martha Hines with Living the One Light. And today I want to make a kind of special, different kind of video um, talking about the notion of deep peace and healing. And I want to share some of perspectives and messages that I have been feeling myself and also getting in my prayers with the spirit world um, over the past many years. And it's been increasing lately and really wanting to come through and be shared. So yeah, um, where I, I think I'll start is with this idea that, you know, we have in this world so many reasons to feel scared, to feel anxious, um, to feel upset, to feel depressed, to feel all kinds of things. And, and many reasons to feel out of balance or out of health in many ways, physically, emotionally, spiritually, multiple, all of the above. Um, and so a lot of the time, many of us are seeking sources of health, sources of peace, like deep, true peace, contentment, happiness, um, and well-being on every level. And there's no one answer to find those things, of course. And of course, many things work for each of us in various moments. And um, sometimes we need one thing and then five minutes later, we need something else. And that's all completely normal. So something that the spirit world has been asking me to bring through is a set of deep peace and healing videos and also live monthly group healing sessions and then also one-on-one -on -one healing sessions which I do with people already one-on-one -on -one. but um so I want to introduce those to you and uh, tell you about them and then I also want to drop into some of the messaging that messages that I've been receiving that feel really important to convey at this moment in time. So in terms of what I am offering and what I've been creating over the past many months is um, first I have the set of six videos that are called the deep peace and healing video series. And those are available um, on their own for people to engage with anytime you like. Two of them are free. And uh, and the other, if you want all six of them, they're available both at the regular rate and then also at a scholarship rate because uh, it's really clear to the, through the spirit world that these are needing to be accessible to as many people as possible. So I'm trying to make them available to basically anybody at least you know the free ones are available to anybody and then yeah the other pricing is hopefully accessible for a lot of people as well then in addition I am going to be holding monthly group healing sessions essentially um the first one is going to be next Thursday September 8th uh, at 11 a.m. Pacific time. So it's 2 p.m. Eastern time. Again, Thursday, September 8th. And I'm going to be doing those once a month. Um, and you can look on my website, livingtheonelight.com to see my schedule. I've planned out the first, at least three of them. So, so what those group sessions and actually what all of this deep peace and healing work is about is really about helping us to 
drop into our parasympathetic nervous system. <laughs> so, so we have, you know, in the, in our nervous system, we have two main components of it. It's the sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system. And the sympathetic nervous system is what typically kind of switches on when we're in fight or flight mode, when we need to really act. And that's, you know, when our adrenaline can get going and we can run or we can survive, we need, we need that sympathetic nervous system to act and keep us alive. And then this parasympathetic nervous system is what tends to come on line more when we feel safe, we feel able to relax, we feel held, you know, and like things are okay, which in our world tends to happen a lot less than our bodies would ideally do well with. <laughs> so the sympathetic nervous system, again, is great for survival, but it's not great in terms of long-term well-being, because when we're in the sympathetic nervous system, we create, uh, our bodies create a lot of cortisol and, you know, maybe more adrenaline and things like that. And those chemicals break down our body systems and also suppress the immune system. So in the long run, that's not so helpful. Also, when we're in that more of that sympathetic nervous system and that fight or flight response, um, that tra more of that trauma response, we tend to operate from our hindbrain as opposed to our whole brain. And our hindbrain is really more about, again, survival and and not so much, it's, it's about the immediate immediate needs and not so much about relaxed, open, big picture thinking, coming up with solutions for the future, um, thinking of new solutions, new ideas, out of the box thinking, that kind of a thing. So on so many levels, the sympathetic nervous system is great for immediate survival and not so great for long-term or long-term needs. And the parasympathetic nervous system in contrast is, is maybe, you know, wouldn't necessarily jump you out of bed to run away from a bear but in terms of our long-term well-being and our big picture well-being, the parasympathetic nervous system is so much more pleasant <laughs> and helpful. And um, really what is needed, you know, more and more and more in this time, because so many of us have so many legitimate reasons to feel anxious and scared and more in that sympathetic nervous system response. So the purpose of the deep peace and healing video series, as well as the monthly group healing sessions, and as well as the one-on-one -on -one healing sessions that I offer for people, all of the above, the purpose of them is really to help us and allow us and give us the opportunity to come fully into that parasympathetic nervous system place. And even if we only have 30 minutes or an hour to be in that place, in that space, that gives our bodies and our systems, you know, our energetic system, our physical systems, our emotional systems, our spiritual systems, it gives our whole being that 30 minutes or that hour, or even five minutes of letting go, of relaxing, of coming into that parasympathetic nervous system place, which is what our body needs to be in, in order to do healing, in order to get really deeply uh, rested, and to kind of reset and come into a place where we, you know, if we're struggling with some thing, we can't decide about X, Y, Z thing. If we are able to spend time in that parasympathetic nervous place, we're a lot more likely to suddenly think of a solution that we <laughs> never thought of before because 
again, when we're in that fight or flight mode, you know, we're just in survival mode and it's a lot, we might come up with a solution that's great for that moment, or we might not, we, we're not as likely to come up with a solution that's, you know, bigger than what we might've thought of in that fight or flight mode. Um, Yeah, and so the other component of the intention of all of this that the spirit world is wanting me to share is that these deep peace and healing videos, circles, and then one-on-one -on -one sessions, all of the above, are also intended to help us connect with and remember all of the support that we have in our innate connection with the spirit world, with the earth, <laughs> this planet that we're on, with the cosmos, with all of existence, with the light, meaning divine light. Um, but also, I do actually mean also like sunlight. <laughs> sunlight is a very healing entity in and of itself. I mean, just on a physical level, even, I mean, in moderation, right. But part of the, the message that the spirit world wanting me to convey and also to, to cultivate in these videos and these circles and these sessions is that we have so much available to us that we have forgotten about, or maybe never in this lifetime known about, um, that are right here, <laughs> that are totally free, that are who we are. So these um, videos and sessions and you know, the group sessions and individual are, they're all channeled and they are each one uh, channeled from the perspective of various, I guess you could say, spiritual helpers. So in the, for example, in the video series, the first video, which is free, is called You Are the Light. So it's from the perspective of divine light and of ourselves as beings of divine light and the healing of divine light. Um, another one is about the co-regulation of ourselves with Mother Gaia mm, itself and the cosmos. So this um, that one's more from the perspective of that we are in constant, literal, physical relationship with this planet and with the cosmos. And that that relationship is innately the most powerful and the most actually natural source that we have for co-regulating with something else. So that's a whole topic in and of itself. And I I put a um, an article about that on my blog just a few days ago, which you're welcome to look at. Um, it's called Expanding Attachment Theory. So in my work as a therapist, um, the two things that I specialized in were trauma work and attachment, which go hand in hand. And, you know, in attachment theory, we think, of course, about a baby or a child with their mother or with their caregiver. And we know that a baby, when they're born, they ideally are then on the body of the mother who gave birth to them. But you know, the caregiver who's skin, like skin to skin contact so that the baby can co-regulate literally, physically um, with the heartbeat and the breathing and the smell uh, and the touch of the caregiver. And we know that babies are much more likely to survive and to thrive when they're in that co-regulatory relationship with the caregiver. So when we grow up, as adults, we still are that being that was that baby. And physiologically, we still have a need to co-regulate with something and to, 
to have an attachment relationship that is still um, helps us to come into regulation in our own bodies and to feel held, to feel safe, to feel known on these levels that we as a baby needed. So one thing that the spirit world has been conveying very consistently over the past few years with me is that the greatest source of co-regulation that we have as beings on this planet is uh, our relationship with this planet. <laughs> it's literally what our bodies are made of. You know, it. our rhythms are literally in sync with this planet and with the cosmos, with all the cycles and all the motions of our planet in the solar system, with the sun, you know, our entire solar system in the galaxy, our galaxy in motion throughout all of time and space. Those circular, cyclical, I should say cyclical, because they're not all circular, those those motions that our planet and our solar system and our galaxy and all of the above are doing constantly it are what our bodies are in co-regulation with. And again, this is a longer conversation, but we've forgotten our connection to them. And so when we're able to come back into an awareness of and a consciousness of our relationship to the natural world, to the earth, to the cosmos, to all of existence, we have actually a source of, of course, co-regulating, but in a sense, even repairing our attachment needs. So that again, this is a whole other, <laughs> a big other conversation that, and I wrote that article on, or the, on my blog, um, you're welcome to read that, but I'm also working on a chapter that I'm, I'm writing a book on <laughs> all of this and this, um, attachment theory, sort of cosmic attachment theory is, is a big part of it. So I look forward to sharing with that, that with you soon. Also, <laughs> that's, a, that's a whole topic. Um, but it's very tied into the intent behind these deep peace and healing videos and sessions. And yeah, so, so some of these, um, some of the, the entities that come through in these sessions, you know, are beings of light, are the earth and the cosmos, are all kinds of other you know, positive, high vibrational beings who are aspects of ourselves and on and on. So one of the things that the spirit world's really wanting me to, to convey and emphasize in a lot of what I do is that we are not alone and that we are surrounded by, you know, physical things like the earth, the stars, the planets, um, each other, the animals, and we're also surrounded by things that we don't typically remember or see, more energetic things or spirits. Um, but we are always surrounded by sources of help, sources of connection, beings that want to connect with us and help us and and hold us in a place of healing. Um, so that that comes through in in these videos and in the sessions. Um, yeah, and I, I think the last thing I'll say is, so a lot of the work I do and a lot of the workshops I've been holding and also, um, you know, the monthly soul wisdom gatherings, all of them have the similar intention of healing and of helping us feel connected and helping us feel in community. All, all of that is true for every single one of the gather anything I do those those are my intentions <laughs> like no doubt specifically though with these deep peace 
and healing group sessions. I, I want to describe that a little bit more so you have a sense of whether it calls to you or not. Um, the way I'm planning to hold these is that unlike the the soul wisdom gathering where that you know my intention with those is to really be a container for community in in a certain sense um and those are those are held once a month as well the next one will be on september 17th saturday september 17th and you're very welcome to join those also i try to keep those um financially accessible as well um but these deep peace and healing sessions are Certainly they're in community, but the idea with them is not so much to have social time. It's more a time where you could come and you could choose to turn on your video or just leave it off and really be there with the intention to give yourself a break. Give, let yourself go. <laughs> let yourself be held. So these are a little bit, have a more of a, I want to say a quieter energetic intention where, you know, I'll be very present, just as present as always. Um, and I'll be very much holding the space and I will channel a healing session. But it's it's sort of as though if we were in person, you could imagine you might walk into the room and the room, the lights would be low and you might find a, you know, a really comfortable place on a, a cushy mat or something and a blanket and you would lie down and there would be other people in the room but the intention would be to have a really calm and quiet healing session with me holding that space and guiding the experience um but not so much about um talking and sharing I will give an opportunity for people to share if they do want to and introduce themselves, you know, introduce yourself if you want to. But again, it's more about coming and just really letting go and receiving and completely letting yourself go into that parasympathetic nervous system state as much as you possibly can. Um, and just letting the spirit world take over and you know work in concert with your own spirit with your own knowing um yeah so if you feel called to join any of these i would love to have you there you can be there live you can also just sign up and i will send out the recordings each month um you can do this on a one at a time basis or you can sign up for a monthly membership which is slightly lower cost. Um, the monthly membership also includes the month, monthly membership for the deep peace and healing group sessions includes the six video series that you, you know, you can buy separately and on its own, but the, the membership comes with that. It comes with the monthly deep peace and healing sessions, and it comes with the monthly um soul wisdom gatherings so um so again yeah you could come just to the deep peace and healing session you could instead have sessions with me one-on-one -on -one. you could do both <laughs> the deep peace and healing uh group sessions also come with discounted option of a session with me anyway there's if you look at the website there are various options and you can construct it however you feel called and what feels the best for you. So I would love to support anything that you're needing. Um, if you are feeling like you, for whatever reason, you would love to have an hour and a half of just letting your body rest, letting your mind rest, letting your heart rest, letting your spirit just let everything go um and let the spirit world hold you and love you and remember help you to remember to remind you <laughs> that you are held and loved and cared about so completely infinitely and deeply 
and to let your body and your spirit and your soul and your heart to heal in whatever way you're needing in each and every moment. I welcome you. And certainly the recordings of these sessions can be, you could listen to them, you know, ad infinitum. You could <laughs> over and over and over and over and over again. They they are timeless. So um, you could listen to them five years from now and 10 years from now, and they will be available for you. Um, yeah, wonderful. I hope to see you and certainly reach out if you have any questions at my, uh, livingtheonelight.com, you can find these, all of what I'm mentioning also on my website, Living the One Light. I'm oh, sorry, my email is livingtheonelight at gmail.com. My website is livingtheonelight.com. Um, but yeah, connect with me with any questions. Thank you so much, and I will see you soon.